After nearly 70 years, the fallen soldiers are welcomed home with an honour guard. One by one, the small caskets, wrapped in the United Nations flag, were carried back onto American soil, a US airbase in South Korea. This is just the start of their final journey. Next week, they'll be taken to Hawaii to be examined to check that they are the remains of US soldiers. This appears to fulfil a key pledge made by Kim Jong-un to President Trump during the Singapore summit. And it comes in the same week as North Korea appears to be dismantling one of its main missile launch sites. But what does North Korea want in return? Kim Jong-un chose his date well to keep his word. Today marks the 65th anniversary of the signing of the armistice, which officially ended the Korean War. In North Korea, they call it the Day of Victory. In tears and rapture, veterans run into the arms of Chairman Kim, announced state media. Mr Kim is trying to persuade the world that his focus is on building his country's economy rather than building nuclear weapons. Some doubt his sincerity. President Trump, however, will see this as a promise kept and publicly thanked him in a tweet. After so many years, this will be a great moment for so many families. Thank you to Kim Jong-un, he said. In Seoul, Korean war veterans from around the world gathered to remember the millions who died. And they hope that at some point, peace will one day come to the peninsula. For the last 30 years, we have not seen anything very positive. And I think today we are starting to see a few positive things happening. The return of these remains may breathe new life into a peace process that has seemed stalled since the Singapore summit. The fundamental problem remains. North Korea has yet to hand over any of its nuclear weapons. And until it does, the US will still believe that it poses a global threat. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Osan Air Base, South Korea.